Okay, we have our first incoming trade craft. This guy's going to show up here. We're going to just slow it back down to normal speed and we're going to pause. Click on him. Now, if you have a comms system, you can actually get communications with them. Um, if you're really interested in seeing their ship, you can. But you're only interested, you're really interested in one thing. What do they have to offer, and what are they willing to give you for the junk that you got? Um, now, I'm just going to trade everything with the start base because I haven't started transferring goods over to the to the far slayer here. So let's have a look, see here what he's got that I want. Now, water is something I need. Energy scrap is something that you can recycle to get fuel rods. Now remember, fuel rods on this map are my number one priority. Uh, this thing is something that you have absolutely the, the minimum number of. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with trading. Now we can only trade in intervals of 10 items. So once you've got 10, that's it. Now what do I have here that I can trade with this guy? Fabric. This is, as I said, fabrics are one of those things you grow the fabric. You usually have a lot of it. And for some reason, fabric usually trades more than the completed block. Although the fabric, the completed block is uh, fabric and metal. Figure that one out. So fabric is a great trade commodity because it's a completely renewable resource. Now I usually do is I'll go up until I have a plus balance. He's got a lot of coins. I want some of those coins. I have lots of these. But every time you click, your price, your sell price goes down. And every time you click over here, his his sell price goes up. So we're gonna sell sell him uh, 1,012 credits worth of fabrics. I am going to get, so that's an average price of, yeah, it's not that big, big of a deal. It's only, only a hundred, hundred bucks or so per, and I'm going to get 10 energy scraps, which I can get fuel rods out of those energy scraps. I'll probably get about two fuel rods, maybe three. So accept that trade. We're going to do a new trade. Again, I'm just going to go for the water. See now the fuel rod or the energy scrap, even though he has leftovers, that energy scrap is no longer available as a trade item. Um, sometimes you will get two or three of the same, like two, you can trade out one item two or three times, but usually I find if you get below 10 of that item on their ship, they will stop selling it to you. Now again, we have this. Now it doesn't calculate the stuff that we've already traded. Remember, I've just bought a whole bunch of coins from him, but it doesn't show that I have those coins. So it doesn't calculate, carry the trade values from one to the other until the trade is actually completed. Now again, I am going to just sell him some more of this junk, this, this cloth. And again, I'm just going to sell him five of them this time, not even six. And that's just going to get me a few more coins. Another good trade uh, commodity is the carbon. Uh, carbon can be mined and it will produce carbon uh, with your atmospheric uh, scrubbers, but they don't produce very much. So the more scrubbers you have doesn't make any difference. They all scrub only a certain amount of oxygen or only a certain amount of carbon out of the oxygen at a time. So <clears throat> this is another valuable trade commodity, but you can you can actually run out of it. Uh, that's not a big too big of a deal unless you're doing a lot of planting and gardening. I don't know if there's anything else you can use the carbon di uh, carbon for. So we're going to produce this. Now again, as you can see now the water, so we have traded energy and we've traded water. And if we go back to here, 
both energy uh, both of those energy are, are no longer listed now optronics components I don't really have a large demand for these early game uh, I'm not even sure if I've actually reached the point where I actually do need those um, there are some blocks that use them I think but uh, yeah that's advanced facilities but we have the time and we have the resources so maybe what we'll do is we'll just grab those blocks as well if we can now remember I said carbon was a good trade resource I've got 4,000 uh, worth of those two three four five so I can sell him five of those and be done with that but here's another uh, trade commodity that can be used human meat space meat too if you uh, once you harvest the uh, the the alien carcasses um, you can sell space meat uh, I don't know it's your your call uh, selling food is always a questionable thing unless you have a good food stock coming in um, so keep that in mind everything ha everything you sell and everything you trade for that's all resources you potentially could be robbing yourself of so we'll sell this now that's three of my four total trades that I can do um, I'm not too worried about the energy crystals the high the hyperspace crystals because I always seem to have more hyperspace fuel than I need anyway uh, the infra blocks you have remember your recycler produces infra blocks in three different things produce these blocks uh, plus you have a manufacturing facility that produces these blocks these are needed in a lot of construction but uh, I don't really see a need to trade for them so that's all done now we're just gonna let this run for a second or two while um, Uh, while it does, I'm going to go turn off an alarm that I have going off in the background. Okay, now we've loaded our airlocks and we're just waiting for shuttles to transfer. So the shuttles will, our shuttle will take a load of stuff over and their shuttle will bring a load of stuff to us. Uh, the shuttles are just functioning on basically on autopilot. You don't even need a, a crew member or, or anybody to power them. And this is what their ship looks like. Um, if you look at it with the top on, you can see the devices they have that poke through the top. They have two weapon, two of the standard weapon turrets and a shield generator. Um, weapons apparently will be coming in down the road for this game again we're just waiting oh they've already they've already loaded the goods um, it, ba it basically depends on how many guys you have working how and how quickly stuff gets loaded but what will happen is eventually you will reach you will get these warnings that says uh, your crew can is logistics is uh, overloaded or airlocks are overloaded that's part of the reason why I like to put dual airlocks in especially once I'm harvesting uh, derelicts and such on a fairly consistent basis um, because if I have all four or three of miners and the shuttle out because you have a crew of five so you could literally have all five ships out going at once um, you could very easily find your airlocks are getting stuffed uh, if nobody's working <clears throat> so 
So those are my trades. Now this ship will, and slow this back down again here for a second. I can do more trades with this ship if I wanted to. But as you see, it really hasn't much anything else that I'm interested in at this time. So uh, this ship will just sit here for a little while and then eventually it will warp out of the system. Um, oops. And the next closest ship is this guy here, who's two jumps away. I don't see the pirate. The pirate's still hanging out up by the warp, um, the warp lane. So that's interesting. Now I don't know if there is any action that actually happens on these uh, areas between the different craft, like. If this guy and the pirates get together, will they? Will the pirates shoot them, uh, blow them up, or vice versa? Um, I don't know if that happens when the player craft is not in that sector. So it's it's a good question. Uh, it would be interesting to see it because all of a sudden you might see a one of these ships just become a uh, become a derelict. Like this, it'll just switch from this to this symbol, so you might actually gain a bonus one. I don't know if that happens or not. I haven't really paid attention to it, but it would be interesting if it does. What faction was this? That the this is merchant faction. Okay. Now again, um, I'm just waiting for stuff to get built. <clears throat> We have a shortage of hull blocks and whatnot, but I believe I did tell this, I did not tell this to build. Did I not tell this one to build? Okay, soft block if less than five, hull block if less than 10, And infra block if less than ten. <coughs> okay, I thought I had that building. Um, so now they should start producing hull blocks again, because I do have metal. I've got four metal, and I have scrap. What do I got for scrap left? I've got just some energy scrap that I bought. I thought I bought 10. Or did you guys already process five of them? This morning I bought 10 of them. But it's entirely possible they've already produced five. So we'll let this run again, because I, I do run it at high speeds. Okay, and the ship has finally left the area. And we are slowly producing. Uh, she's making hull blocks. And we are back under construction again. Now what you'll see is they'll haul the hull blocks over here to these little space pods. And then the space pods will come over and build on the hulls, which I think they already have. Looks like it. they've built the added section. <clears throat> And then, yeah, they'll just continue hauling goods. So we're just going to quickly just slow it back down to normal for a few seconds here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more building. So we're going to go crew. And I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit an overlay. I just want something to see. For some reason, the overlays or the ship building uh, it's very hard to see sometimes what you're doing. Okay, ship wall. 
Anybody remember what wall that was? That was this wall. No, I don't think it was that wall. Is it this wall? I think it was that wall. Okay. It doesn't really matter. You can always change the flavor of a room. Uh, if you want but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to bring up hull and activate my sketch and I'm going to add another segment of this on I'm gonna take this as full wide uh, we'll start with this for now I want to bring it up past the crew quarters build hull and again there's a passageway right there this is where I'm going to start putting in some storage and I'm going to activate this sketch here It's not done building yet. Okay. Okay, we've got enough room now for the second hyperdrive. Uh, I'm going to order that. <clears throat> and once they built one, I'll explain the reasoning for the two. But it's basically fairly simple um, hyperdrives only shove so much mass around and you will become more heavier than what one hyperdrive can shove around very quickly uh, before you've even loaded your entire resource over here now back to crew facility we're gonna put that biffy in That's just going to go in like so, and again, walls, standard wall, I think I had this wall, and up, and the door, and crew furniture light which we can't put in until after that wall's built. <coughs> or we can put one in here. We'll put it in over here though, so we'll let that wall get built. <clears throat> now the other thing we need to build here is sleeping quarters. So we have a kitchen. We have a garden with a kitchen. We don't have eating area yet, but that can be changed by putting in a couch. And a small table. Now you could do that or this table. If you do this table, you can do this, where you put one side by each, and it makes a double table. So this couch has two people sitting on it. You just have to make sure you have room for them to walk around. It may say that there is uh, blocked area here. I don't know because they can walk here. I'm trying to keep this area free as possible. Now I do have a light there. So we'll throw another light in. Down here somewhere. But we'll deal with that in a minute. Now, <clears throat> sleeping quarters. I'm going to put in a bunk bed. But I'm also going to put in two of the single beds. Uh, no, or, or one of the single beds. Now remember, uh, the crew has the crew schedule. I have two people sleeping at a time, maximum. So 
So if I have um, a bunk bed, they will attempt to sleep on the comfortable bed first and the bunk bed second. The reason is is periodically somebody will well somebody should always be sleeping in this in the comfy comfy bed. Uh, that gives them a little bit better uh, relaxation. And we're just going to carry the wall up like so. And we're going to put in a door like so. And one more time, we're going to activate sketch. And we're going to bring this out two blocks. Back to ship. <clears throat> got a few more things that we have to put in under science. We got to put in a medical bed. So for the first little while, you won't be putting in, if you try to put everything together, like build the entire ship, the maximum uh, everything, uh, it will cause problems. So I'm going to put the medical bed in here, but I'm going to actually wait till this wall's built because I want to move it back one. Uh, another facility that I will want, but I'm not going to put it over here, is <clears throat> the autopsy table. I'm going to put it over in the production facilities over here as this area starts getting built up as well. I'm waiting for hall to be built. So we're just going to speed this back up and let it run again. Now you'll get this unreachable areas warning all the time. Usually, especially when you're building, uh, they will build a section of hull that doesn't have a connector to it. Don't worry about it. It's like here. This is the unreachable area they're talking about. Yes, you can't get into this area because it's not built yet. Um, that can be kind of frustrating if you have intentionally built an area that doesn't have access, like you have placed a device or something, and then there's a couple of squares in behind it that are unreachable. Uh, I found that the only solution to that is to literally go in, remove two sections or a section of wall, and then fill that area in with wall. Otherwise, that warning just keeps popping over. Now, there's the medical bed, and there's one other, well, a couple other things we need to put in. First off, under systems, we need the navigation console. We need a little bit more space here. So what we'll do is we'll go hull and activate sketch. And we're just going to expand this section of hull out a little bit more. And I'll take that one too. Yeah, see the green shows your path, pathing that they are capable of doing. So let's go back to production. Now let's put in some storage. We're going to grab some large storages. Now, as you can see, we got a doorway here. So we're just going to come right off that doorway and we'll put a large storage and back to back, we'll put another one. <clears throat> Over here also. you will want the water purifier that can go in here and then if you go to items there's an item fabricator and a tools facility the tools are needed for uh, basic basically needed for building on this ship um, you 
always need tools. It always complains about it. So order those and the item fabricator. <clears throat> now if you go to resources, there are certain things that you can build. Some require the produced noise and should be in a enclosed room. Others can don't need to be. Um, the weaver, if I can find it here, the weaver, the micro weaver, which is also the biggest drawn device on here. It only takes a couple of squares and it doesn't really have, um, it doesn't create gases, but you absolutely must, must, must build a recycler. Now, eventually I will put in uh, a door and access and all that uh, for the recycler, but for now, um, this is just going to end up getting shoved into the production area here. It's noisy and it smells, but this isn't exactly living quarters over here. So we're just going to make sure we have space for them to walk around it and we'll plop it right there. Now there's one thing that we have been neglecting substantially and that is power. Now I'm going to grab some solar power panels. Now as soon as I put this down, this space here in behind here is going to say inaccessible. So you got to keep that in mind. But I have room here for two. No, not quite. Move. Yeah, put you and production power uh, solar panel. <clears throat> now the whole thing with the solar panels is they are a passive energy producer. They will always produce power no matter how close or how far you are away from the sun they will always produce power. The closer you are to a sun the better the power. Um, don't underestimate the abilities of the solar panels. However you will want uh, capacitors. So I'm going to throw two capacitors down right there. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. There we go. Let's just rotate them. <clears throat> More for visual than anything. It doesn't really matter. And then one last thing we're going to need, again under power, is an actual power generator. These little ones will do a fairly good job. Uh, the ship this size, two, two, or one of these will power it. One of these will power it a little bit better. Um, so we're going to put in a level two generator in. We're just going to make sure we leave enough space for us to walk around. Now these, some of these things will be moved uh, as time goes on. Now ship, wall, again we'll put a doorway in. Why did I not order a door passage here? There it is. <clears throat> and that comes off of this area. I'm not so worried about this area here getting, yes I know, thank you. Uh, I'm not so worried about this area being comfortable because people aren't living here. They're just literally going to be running through this area. They'll come in, they'll grab or move resources and they will walk past. Now I believe under my sketch that I have a little bit more space in behind here. So eventually this will all get filled out. The recycler will be moved. Um, at some point in time. This uh, recycler has actually cost me uh, in the past not having it built has cost me. I'm just going to do though is I'm going to remove one section of hull I 
think I got that. Yes. Uh, and that'll close this one piece up so that it doesn't give me the uh, area not accessible warnings. It will eventually, I will we'll rebuild it, but I'm not worried about it right now. Now, what we still have to do is hook up all the systems here, again with some wall or and power nodes. So keep in mind that this generator, let's look at power grid. <clears throat> So you can't show connectors until you've actually built the damn things, which is a pain in the s But power nodes. Now you have the floor nodes, uh, you have the wall nodes, and then you have the main nodes. Um, the little green lines show all the things that one of these nodes will connect to. So it gives you an idea where your nodes currently are. So I have a power node right here. It's not connecting to the bedroom, for example. But this wall is built, and I could put a power node right there. <clears throat> and I can put a floor node in over here. Because I want crew, furniture, a wall light. I got this right here. I got a wall light there. I want one. I want one over here, but I don't know where that thing is going to go. So we'll grab systems. Again, uh, our navigation console that we were going to build here. And I'm afraid if I put this down, I might actually get the area not accessible thing. So maybe what we'll do. I put that down I might get the area not accessible thing over there so maybe what we'll do is we'll just run this out one more block like that um, this is of course just built uh, temporarily a lot of things get built as you as you move on I just want to get this ordered so we're just gonna let this run for a second okay there we go he's built that Now we'll just go ship, system, navigations console. That area should now be accessible and we can have this. Now I don't really need much else. Now did I put a light in down here? I thought I would, uh, I was thinking of putting a light in down here. So I'm going to put a wall light in right here. Now eventually, eventually, uh, this is all going to get modified um, a lot. <laughs> for now, it's just going to, you're looking again just for function. I need to get stuff functional. Uh, so, we're going to high priority the solar panels. Those need to be up and running and we're going to start prioritizing the power grid. Um, systems, I need to have things built. And I'm just gonna let them, let them keep building. And hopefully next episode we'll be off to actually start moving the ship. So that's uh, going to do it for today. So thanks all for watching, kids. I hope to see you on the next episode where we will hopefully move out of this system. Good night for now.